Today we jump into Adobe's Fast Color Corrector. Fast Color Corrector in Adobe Premiere is a very powerful tool to use when you're looking for a specific look uh, or just to touch it up and, and give your image that extra little something. Now this is B-roll for an upcoming gear review that I'm doing, um, but let's just see, I, I already tweaked this a bit in Color Corrector, so take a look at the image after and before. So a little bit more moody looking, a little bit more studio-ish. I, I want to darken the uh, areas over here a little bit, call more attention to what I was doing here, um, and give a little bit of a blue tone, so cool it down a little bit. Let me show you how I did it. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it and start from scratch. Go down to Effects, type in Fast. There you go, Fast Color Corrector, drag it over, and there it is. Now, you can look at the before and after side by side on the image so you can see what you're doing as you're doing it. Say Show Split View. And I personally like doing it vertical so that it's side by side. If it's horizontal, obviously looking at the top and the bottom. Um, and then you can adjust the split view percent. So first thing I do when I'm in Fast Color Corrector is I make sure the white balance is correct. If I'm not looking to stylize it with a specific color, I'll take the eyedropper tool and go to a spot I know is white on the image. Now here, this was white balanced correctly, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, if we wanted to give it a look, like if we wanted to cool it off, Grab this, bring it down towards the blue a bit. And now you're seeing the left hand portion of the screen change color right here, split, you know, 50 50. So if you're liking how that looks, leave it. Um, you can play with it a little bit more. And of course, unless you're going for a very stylized look, um, you know, just very subtle. You just want to be very subtle with it. Scrolling down a bit more here. Um, Another favorite is saturation. Uh, depending on the camera, you always want to boost the saturation a little bit, especially if you're shooting an S-Log or something similar. Um, but I grab that and bring it up to, say, you know, like maybe 115 or so. Just do it so it looks good. You don't want to turn into an Oompa Loompa and get like an orangey face. Bring it up a little bit till it looks good for whatever style you're going for. Scrolling down a little bit more, these input-output levels are hugely helpful. For the input levels, this is something that you always want to take a look at. You want to make sure that the blacks are crushed properly. If you're shooting on a DSLR especially, um, they shoot a little bit flat. So instead of a jet black, you're actually getting more like a, a dark gray. So if you grab it here and just drag it a bit to the right, you're seeing the blacks get crushed. The, the shadows get darker. Bring it to where you'd like it to. If you want to move this over, because this is the area I'm gonna, uh, that I'm really looking to change, I'll scroll up. I'll just turn off the split view. Maybe it's a little bit too much. That's good. I don't want to lose too much detail in what I'm doing here because this C stand is actually what I'm reviewing. And then if you want to blow out the brightness a bit, um, you can grab this and now you're going to be boosting the highlights. So so the, the dark parts aren't going to be affected nearly as much as uh, the bright areas. All right. Now for the output levels, if we wanted to have it so that it wasn't as bright, like the, the brights were, were kind of toned down and subdued, you grab it here. Bring it to the left, and you're not having an effect on the overall image, you're having an effect on the brightest parts of the image. And same thing here, that's true for the shadows. So if you've used Instagram, this is like if you were to tap the shadows icon when you're editing it, and you want to boost just the shadows, that's kind of what you're doing here. As a, you know, And if you're going to tap highlights, this is kind of like the same thing. All right, and those are the main things that I utilize in Fast Color Corrector. So again, let's see the before and after. So big difference. All right, let's see something that was shot in a DSLR. All right, this uh, short film table read was shot in a DSLR. You can see here that uh, the black here is more like a very dark gray. So the blacks need to be crushed. The, the saturation needs to be increased, uh, which is just typical for DSLR stuff. So... Let's grab the color corrector. Now let's make sure the white balance is correct. Obviously this paper is very white. All right, not much of a change there because it was balanced correctly. Um, now here are the big changes. Saturation, let's boost that a bit. Okay, I like that. And let's crush those blacks. 
looks great. I feel that this, this white is certainly too blown out. So let's grab this. Bring the highlights down a bit. There we go. Let's see before and after. All right, so I think I crushed it a little bit too much there. The blacks look good, but it's just, it's a little bit, the image is too dark. So kind of fudge with it until you're happy with it. Okay. And again, you can do the split view. So, big difference. So when you're shooting a DSLR, fast color corrector is an essential tool to utilize to make sure your video really pops and looks its best. I hope that helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos just like this. And good luck with your project.